I made these pots of jello fries with no tomatoes. And I said to myself, why can't I just show you to my lovely family, which is you watching this video at this minute? Why can't I show you how I achieved this amazing result of pot of jello fries without tomatoes i started by cutting up my onion and now i am peeling my beetroot as you're saying i use just two beetroots for this pot of jello fries okay you might want to use more if you want to but for me i am using two because i don't want it to be too um reddish my children will call it pink rice <laughs> so guys yeah look at how juicy it is so i have already boiled my egg and then the um, rice as well so i'm just adding all the um beetroot that we cut earlier on the onion and one pepper a microfish and i added water to blend them guys you will want to blend this very well so you will achieve the best result of the puree okay because that is what we want isn't it we want it to be as smooth as possible so guys look at the um finishing after blending look at that is amazing it's very very fury so this is the rice we washed earlier on and then i will be using just two monkey cube and then i'm just adding my olive oil feel free to use any oil of your choice i just added the puree straight away to the pot the amazing thing about this whole process is that it's very low cost oh yes it's very low cost because you do not need to overcook the puree again as soon as you pour it in the pot just to make sure that it is well cooked as you will do of that of tomatoes before pouring your rice no you do not need to bother so in that case you are saving yourself some electricity and gas okay so guys i just added my egg and the fish this is because i want the whole ingredients to get into the egg and fish and then i'm just bringing them out um just to make sure that they don't get scattered in the um in the rice or jello fries yes so guys you will want to add your rice at this point yes and then mix it all very well because you wouldn't want it to some parts to be pink <laughs> some parts to be white no we don't want that we just want to mix it very well and then i will be i'm um, rinsing the blender and add the water in there that is all we need okay i'll just mix it very well and then cover it guys don't forget do you know that beetroot is very nutritional and healthy i just added uh, my butter and then look at what we have after 10 minutes of cooking and then i just want to mix it up again and i will be adding um the egg and the fish at this point guys please if you haven't started following me here please do me a favor by following us so that you will be getting more tips of how to eat healthy with no cost this is the result after 10 minutes look at how good this is looking guys and don't forget that most of those puree you buy in the market some of them they added this beetroot to it and even those red wine you drink most of them have this beetroot look at that thank you so much for watching god bless you